Episode 6 of the Iron Man series, Play How You Want to Play. Right away, we want to start unlocking the farming minigame. Don't ask me how to say it, because Google's got you covered on that. So I did some research on the wiki to find out how we can get to 100% Hysidious Haver quickly, so we decided to push the plow. But I also forgot about the scroll that I had that would give me some extra ones, so we went ahead and used that. I don't know what we were thinking about forgetting to use that right when we got it. Then we're also gonna wanna go ahead and go right into the quest. Depths of Despair. It gives me a Hisidious Favor certificate so I can use it. So I'll get one quest point reward and 10% Hisidious Favor really easily. That is just a great way to get started with this because just pushing the plot 100% would take hours. So we're gonna scoop up some ash put it into some buckets, turn that in, get 100% Insidious Favor, probably like 20 minutes. Call that bad boy a day. Let's try out some new music while I put Ash in the buckets. That was so boring, but we were able to finish everything and get a hundred percent of City of Saber. That's so nice. So now let's go ahead and get into farming. Now that we finally got 100% of the Hasidious favor, this minigame gives you so much experience for a low level farmer. I literally plant just 20 of them at a time and look at that, it's 1200 farming experience for just one run. And I know you're supposed to wait till you have 100. But I wanted to just see how much experience I can get with just one load of it at this level. Alright, so we finished a whole run. We got 98 and just look at that. Almost a 9,000 experience point drop on that. Just a bump all the way up to 42 farming. That's insane. Anyone who is a low level or even in or you just want farming experience, this is definitely a good way to go. Alright, so now we want to get an herb lore, so I want to get my Harlanders clean so I can make unfinished potions, so I can get the compost potions ready to go for my ultra compost. Also, it's pretty good experience. I don't feel like I'm wasting my herbs because I want to like make tar or something like that that I probably would never use for anything. I just like making the compost potions at a low level and then I'm hoping to just make prayer potions later and then so on and so forth. I know how the herbs go when you're an Iron Man. It's just, it gets really rough really fast. Now that I got all my unfinished potions done, I need to complete the Bone Voyage quest so that way I can get the volcanic ash to create the super compost and the ultra compost. Oh, I need to do some quests to get some extra kudos, extra credit. Dig site pendant unlocked, check. Alright, 
So let's go ahead and roll into the Demon Slayer. Everyone's scared of this dude, so we're gonna have to power up to kill him. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! We gotta send him away by speaking the magic words. Demon Slayer done. Thank you, Goku, for all your assistance. And on to the Grand Tree Quest. That good old-fashioned RuneScape safe spot. We probably don't need any power-ups here, or any help. And another quest to add to the list, as completed. Now we're going to make our way back to the Barak Museum so we can turn in all of the quests that we just did so we can get the kudos so we can start the Bone Voyage quest. Yeah, let me on the ship! Alright, let me off the ship. I don't want to be on it anymore. All right, let's go ahead and get the volcanic ash that we need. We will come back though and start doing birdhouses soon enough. Getting all the ash I needed was way faster than just about anything else I've done so far. This is just the easiest. All right, now that we got the ash, let's go ahead and make the compost potions. Putting the compost potion inside of the compost was kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, so we finish up we get 309 Ultra Compost. That's definitely going to last us a while. So we finished all the compost. Now we're going to move on to the Master Farmer so I can get the seeds so I can actually use the Ultra Compost. Plus there's a farming patch right there I can use also. And I don't even have 45 thieving to even go blackjacking yet. Which is another good reason why I'm here. And then, hey, we got 45 thieving. Let's see what blackjacking is like. Definitely not hard. Pretty click intensive. And you fail a lot. Which is to be expected due to the thieving level. But it's just, I don't think it's my type of way to train it. Alright, so we got 47 thieving. And 49 thieving.
And there we go, 50 thieving, finally. Now that we got to the monumental 50 thieving, it's probably a really good time to get the rogues outfit. It kind of took me a while to figure out how to get this down. And then once I got it, I finally was able to get the tops and the bottoms. But we're going to keep going until I get all of the pieces. Yes, 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 yes. Made it to the end, made it to the end. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> And after just a few hours, we finally win! Alright everyone, that concludes this episode. Let's go ahead and fill in all the items we got in the episode. It's nice to finally get the rogue's outfit added to the list. We're probably going to work on the diary soon, as well as continue on with thieving. And I'm also going to probably be really pushing the questing as well. Also, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.